Now I've been working on the Dinky Dino again uh, as the weather's crap, raining and rain. So I've designed to go between the wheels on the side underneath the base on the dyno. Uh, a fuel tank to go one side. I knock this up on CAD. Hopefully it fits nicely. And then I also did a toolbox type thing or like a storage unit. Um, I've designed um, this is what I'll be printing next. Um, there will be two of these, so they're like two on one side and then the fuel tank on the other. Um, these are about 70 millimeters long, where the fuel tank is 140, so it's going to be roughly the same distance, but there'll be a very slight gap between the two uh, storage boxes. The one thing I did do is I've left the handles with a hole. And all I'm going to do is cut a bit of plastic and shape it and glue it in separate because it, some things don't always print right and I'm even with the uh, fuel tank I'm a bit worried at the moment because I think a little bit of it's fouled at the back a little bit annoyed with that but we'll see I won't know until it's off the uh, machine so we'll just wait for them to finish and uh, that'll be the next part Now here's the tank printed. I did have an issue one end. For some reason we lost a little bit, but I'll put that inwards. But there's the tank design. It's a bit rough underneath because that's because it had supports. Um, if I'd done this again, if I made another one, I would consider just printing the centre part because it'll print a lot quicker. You can print it flat, and then the bit like this I'd add with by cutting thin strips of uh, one millimetre plastic and welding them on because um, it would certainly reduce the um, printing time and you wouldn't have to have supports it would print in one so that would be a huge difference but um, I hope you like the tank don't worry about that marking that's why I've used some plasti weld to make the edge a bit stronger even though it's welded to, with heat the plastic weld does it help a little bit now we've got a little printed filler just a simple two minute print and uh, that will probably go here on the side I'll probably just drill it on it should be good enough about there where it will be possibly in real life so I'll put that in and see what that looks like whether it looks correct and uh, I will try and fit this now we're going to see if the holes line up I've drilled them the counter sunk. I've added some plastic to the back just to lower the tank a bit. So we'll see how this goes. The moment of truth. One's lined up. Two's lined up. Now the scary bit, the other holes. Three lines up. And the last screw, will that line up? It should do, the others are. Yeah, there we go, all lined up. So all I've got to do is wind the screws in. And that will be the fuel tank fitted and tested. And then on the others, when the others are printed, we'll go into fitting those. Yeah, I'm using pretty long screws purposely. Got 
because there's no way this is going to fall off. And there we go, the tank's on the side. I know it's proud, um, but then that's sensibility that it can be filled. So now it's a stage of waiting to finish the other two prints, which will be quite some time because they're uh, over four hours, well about four hours per print. And even that was eight hours, like I said, rough underneath, but it will look good. Now with two of these boxes made, um, I decided not to put any handles in, I've just left them as they are, I think that's sufficient. Um, they've been test fitted and all prepped, all we've got to do now is screw the pair on. I don't know where I'll be adding any more bits underneath. Um, there won't be anything more on the sides of the uh, underneath because that is at its limit of what I can do. So that's all nicely done. I'm actually waiting for more screws to come in. I'm running, really running low now. But I ordered a load the other day, so I should have them today or tomorrow. And uh, that will help a lot. The length of these screws, there's no way these are coming off, even though you're just screwing into PLA. I'm not going to bore you with doing the other one, but uh, I'll just quickly screw that on and I'll be back. There we go, the dual boxes are fitted, so we've got sunk each side now. I've done them sticking out because it allows for where there's hinges just on the inner edge here, that they can just about open upwards. So that's another part done of the build. So I'm going to put some nice photos on of... Um, outside just to show the bits off. 